If you are an active senior and your goal, your intention is to live life on your terms up until the later years of life, even up until the last year of life, then I have a mission for you. Mission impossible. Mission impossible. There is going to be two parts to this mission. Part number one. In six weeks, you have six weeks to prepare. In six weeks, I'm going to fly into your, I'm going to fly over to your house. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to fly you out to this remote island, desolate, uninhabitable island in the middle of nowhere. And this island is extremely dangerous. Danger lurking at every turn. There's going to be vicious tigers and alligators and huge spiders and there's even going to be cannibals there's going to be cannibals on this island who would have known hungry cannibals on this island and i'm going to leave you on this island for two weeks you have to survive on your own for two weeks and then after two weeks i'll fly back in i'll pick you up and i'll i, I will take you home but again you have six weeks to prepare so what are you going to do to prepare for this insanely, insanely dangerous island? But before you start thinking about your training, what type of exercises you would do, just first think about what type of activities you're going to have to do on this island in order to survive. You're going to probably have to be able to sprint pretty hard and fast, right? You might have to be able to climb and probably crawl and lift stones and tree limbs to build the shelter and, and hunt. You're going to have to do activities such as that. So how are you going to prepare now, knowing what you're going to have to be able to do to survive? Are you going to get on a stationary bike or, or hit a bucket of golf balls or play some tennis or go to some yoga classes or, or run a 5K, lift some weights? I hope not, because you will not survive two minutes on this island if that is your primary mode of exercise. In order to do those activities I spoke of on the island, you're going to need power. You're going to have to really consistently practice power-based exercises. And when you do that, they stimulate a specific type of muscle fiber. Type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers are stimulated when you exercise with power-based movements. You stimulate these fibers. Very, very important. So let's say you, you take my advice. For six weeks, you consistently exercise. You, you consistently exercise with power-based movements. And I fly in, I take you out to the island, drop you, I push you out of my plane. In two weeks, I come back and there you are, you're on the beach, you're waving me down. I fly in, I pick you up, congratulate you, I bring you back home. And now remember, there's two parts to this Mission Impossible. This is part number two now. You have six weeks again, just like the island. You have six weeks to prepare for part two. After six weeks, I have built this time machine. I'm going to put you in my time machine. I'm going to configure the numbers, the dates, so that when you open the door and get out of the time machine, you're going to be in this two-story home, and you're going to be, ninety, let's say, 93 years old. You're going to be 93 years old, and you have to survive in this house all by yourself at 93 for two weeks, just like the island. Two weeks, you're going to be all by yourself. You have to make do. You have to survive in the house. How are you going to prepare six weeks leading up to my time machine? What are you going to do? Now, now just like the island, let's think first of what type of activities you're going to have to be able to do in this house at 93. Remember, it's two stories, so you're going to have to get up and down the stairs safely at 93. You're going to have to bathe, right? I hope you're going to have to bathe yourself. There's a, there's a shower, but there's a bathtub. You're going to have to be able to step over the bathtub to get in and out safely at 93. What else? You're going to need to cook, right? You have to eat. There's a kitchen, but there's, there's pots and there's, there's heavy frying pans and you're going to have to get in the refrigerator and lift a gallon of milk or water, maybe even a case of water. You're going to have to cook. You're going to have to do those types of activities. Laundry, right? You're going to need to do some laundry. So uh, you're going to have to lift a laundry basket, pour it in the washer, take the wet clothes out, put them in the dryer. There's a couch. It's a low couch. You're going to have to be able to get up and down off the couch. 
There's a driveway too. You're gonna have to get the mail. The, the driveway has a slope though. So at 93, you're gonna have to navigate that slope up and down to get your mail. So knowing these activities now, how are you going to prepare for six weeks leading up to it? What type of exercises are you going to do? Are you gonna get on that stationary bike or do the 5Ks or the yoga, weights, golf, tennis? I hope not. I hope not because at 93, you will not last half a day in that house if that is your mode of exercise, your primary mode. No, just like the island, I think you know where I'm going with this. Just like the island, in order to be 93 and to be independent at those types of activities in your house, you are going to have to engage consistently in power-based exercises. You're going to need to continue to stimulate those type two muscle fibers, especially as we get older and older, because unfortunately, as we age, we lose type two muscle fibers, the fast twitch fibers, at an accelerated pace. We lose them, they atrophy very, very quickly, unless, unless you consistently keep practicing power-based exercises that will stimulate them, that will help you maintain them, and possibly you may even have more. And again, you're going to need those fibers in order to produce power at 93. If you're gonna get up those stairs at 93, if you're gonna get off the couch, off the floor, up and down the driveway, laundry baskets, you need type two fast twitch muscle fibers just like the island. I hope that comparison really resonates with you, really resonates with you. You're gonna have to train the same way to survive on an island. You're gonna have to train the same way at 93 in order to be independent and have quality of life at that age as you get older and older. Fast twitch, power-based exercises, stimulating these fibers that we so desperately need. That is my message for you. That is your mission. That is your mission. You have to start today. Again, if you are the person who wants quality and independence of life up until your last years of life, you have to start consistently working on these types of power-based exercises. Speaking of, let me give you a demonstration of one. You can start today as long as you are not in pain. You do not have any medical contraindications that exercise. You can start this today. You just need a little space. You do not need fancy equipment. You do not have to, there's not a financial commitment. Just a small time investment, very small. Let me show you. Let's say we're back on the, we're back on the island with the cannibals. This is called a get up and go. This exercise is going to stimulate those type two muscle fibers that again, we desperately need as we get older and older. Very simple, I want you to get up on the floor and get up and go. We're on the island, there's cannibals chasing us. We have to get up very quickly and I want you to run very fast in place. 10 seconds, back to the floor. Get up quickly, run fast, the cannibals are coming. Back to the floor. Back up, fast. That exercise that I just demonstrated, it's going to stimulate those type two fast twitch fibers. It's a power-based movement. 30 seconds, that's all you have to do that for, 30 seconds. These fibers, very explosive, but they fatigue very quickly also. So 30 seconds is, is all it takes to really stimulate them. I would suggest if you could do that, three sets of that, 30 seconds each, three sets, three times a week. That alone, just doing that alone, maybe take you two minutes a day, three days a week, that alone will vastly, vastly increase the probability of you having quality and independence in life as you get older and older. They are that important. They're that powerful for us. They are our gold as active seniors. They are our gold. I hope that really helps you guys. I hope it makes sense. My name is Eric. I'm a physical therapist. Been doing this for a long time. I have seen far too many active seniors fall by the wayside because as I just alluded to, they're exercising. They're really focused on exercising. They want that quality of life but they are exercising incorrectly. All the exercises I mentioned earlier, the golfing, the tennis, the 5Ks, 
walking, yoga, lifting weights, they're all great and they all have benefit. However, however, that should not be your primary mode of exercise. The fast twitch muscle fiber exercises, one like I just demonstrated, the power-based movements should be your primary, that should take priority over any other type of activity or exercise. Then those other ones follow, but primarily you should start consistently working on power-based movements that are gonna continually stimulate those fibers so that we're, when we're 93 and we're, when we're in our home, we can be independent and we can have quality. That's it, guys. That is it. If this really resonates with you, if this excites you, I have prepared a program. It's a 30-minute video course where in great detail, I have selected seven of the best fast twitch muscle fiber exercises for active seniors. I break them down, I modify them, I tell you the intensity, the volume, the entire, uh, the whole nine yards, I give you all the information you need. It's 30 minutes, it's a small time investment again. I will leave a link below again if you're interested. If not, keep watching my videos. Every video that I make, I'm gonna introduce a new fast twitch muscle fiber exercise that you can start on your own. So keep watching if, if, you, if you're not interested in the program. I hope this helps you guys. Again, I, I, I've been doing this so long and I see too many active seniors who are losing so much quality and independence of life and it, it, does, not, it does not have to be that way. Thank you so much for watching. Get up and go. Watch out for the cannibals. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.